Let's get a final look at your top stories this morning. We continue to follow the fire at Severe Steel in Bettendorf. Crews are investigating a fire that started about 9.30 last night. The Bettendorf Fire Chief says part of the roof collapsed, but everyone was able to get out safely. He also didn't say what caused the fire. For now, the plant is closed, and we'll keep you updated as we continue to learn more. This was the scene just over an hour ago at CHS Davenport Terminal in Buffalo. Police say it was an accident involving a dump truck. We don't know if there's any injuries, but police, fire, and paramedic crews were on scene, as well as family were told that were involved in the incident. A press release is said to be coming out in about four minutes, and as we learn more, we'll get that updated for you. The 58th High V Honor Flight to the Quad Cities is in Washington, D.C. right now. Dozens of veterans and their guardians touring the nation's capital to see the monuments that have been built in their honor. After an early departure from the Quad Cities International Airport, they landed in D.C. Their first stop was at the Uvar Hazy Center in Virginia. That's where thousands of aviation and space artifacts are stored, which includes the Enola Gay, which is the plane that dropped the first atomic bomb in Japan. We'll have expanded coverage of today's high V Honor Flight of the Quad Cities online, on our social media pages, and on our website, wqid.com.